Currently, this website is having a critical error. Now, we will not do any troubleshooting thing here, but I'm gonna teach you how you can access all your all of your files in a Wiki Engine host. So if you are using a Wiki Engine host, then I'll teach you how you can access it via SFTP, and I will also cover what are the things that you need to avoid when you are accessing your server into a file Zillia. What are the right protocols that you should you should be choosing? So first is you need to log into the Whippet engine and you should able to see this part here under the sites. So here there's only one domain that is um, created in Whippet engine and there is a production and this is a staging. Now production means a live domain and staging means um, a development or so-called staging where developers do the development. But for advanced developer, they just prefer to use the local process instead of just using the staging. So anyway, let's go back to let's go to the production since the issue is the production, and we will just need to remove some snippet of code because I put a wrong um, I put a semicolon. That's why it has this error. Now, um, again, there's two options for you to access your file in Whip Engine. You can either use the SSH key process. I have a tutorial for that. I'll put it on the link description below if you want to check it. And this needs a CLI um, command line method. So if you are familiar with that, then you can always use the SSH. Now, the simpler option is the SFTP users were normally average people use okay so for the sftp user um, you need this following information you need the sftp address and you need the port number and you need to create your sftp user now the difference with a whip engine is it doesn't allow you to edit your password so if you forgot your password in your sftp you need to create a new one or simply delete the others that are that you already forgot so i can delete this one and this test as well and we will create a sftp user now i'll put that my name and then the password so let me just put that over here and then path optional now path ready path so path is an optional um this will um Maybe you can use this one if you want to hire a developer and then you just want them to access the WP content because that's really the normal way when you troubleshoot a theme. But right now, I, I just want to access the root directory of the live site. Now, for the environment, you have um, options whether you want to access the production or you want to access the staging. Now, I'm going to click the production thing here. Click the add user. And then, um, once you're ready, and then let's jump into the file manager. Now, under the file manager, you, if you don't have a file manager yet, you can always download it here under the file project.org. And then um, choose this one, file manager, download this one. And then you need to select what your operating what your bit are you using 64 or are you using 32 bit because if you choose a different bit then you cannot install your file manager and for you to see your bit simply go into ds learn girls is always my recommendation to my clients every time they want to create an online courses you can use the link below to get a three days free trial and see if learn worlds fit for you i also have tutorials about learn world so check out my description or i'm gonna put it in here to see some of my tutorials and learn worlds i tell you there's a lot of features in learn worlds that could be really helpful for your marketing strategy let's get back to the tutorial Diag rather so DX Diag and then under here you'll see what's your um, bit you are using let me just go into the system so I am using 64 bit so that's the process 
Now, file Zillion server is a different one, so you need to do not use this. So just use the file, the the basic um, file Zillia. Now, I've already installed the file Zillia. Now we will put the host name here. So this is the host name. And oh, by the way, you click this file manager, you go to the site manager. And then if you notice in here, it says SFTP. So in the file manager, um, the, the protocol was set is SFTP by default. So you need to change that. So go into the advanced, let me click the file manager, site file manager. And there should be an options here to send. um okay let me just put all the information first sftp the port and oh the port and then the password okay and then the username so this is my username and then i'll click the file manager site manager Hmm, interesting. There should be an option for you to change it, but let's let's try if we can connect. Yeah, we're not because this one should be SFTP, not FTP. I wonder why we cannot. Okay, so you need to add a new site. So first, sorry, go back to site, file manager. And then click this add new site and then make sure you use the SFTP. And then again, let's put in the code here, uh, all the information, the address, the port 222, is it? Yeah, 222, and then the username, and then the password. Oh, sorry. And then the password. And then connect. Okay. So right now we already have an access to the website and go into the functions.php child theme and let's refresh it and we're good to go. Now I need to fix it again because um, I need to put a custom post type in. I wrote a wrong, sem I added a semicolon accidentally. So hope that helps. <laughs> I'm just a